Brunelli reconstruction for scaphoid ligament instability. This wrist has scaphoid ligament laxity. I'm making a small incision on the back of the wrist to approach the wrist joint, dissecting the skin free of the tendons. See the tendons there? Then we're going to release the tendons from the underlying joint. Then we're going to cut through the joint in a manner that preserves the secondary ligaments. And here I'm grasping both the scaphoid and the lunate. The ligament between them is highly lax and there's a great deal of motion between the two. You can move them bones every which way. So we're going to reconstruct the ligament. I'm drilling a guide wire now from the back of the wrist through the scaphoid to the front of the wrist. I'm going to make a counter incision in the palmar surface of the wrist. I'm going to dissect the tendons free and get them out of the way. I'm going to pass the guide wire from the back of the wrist to the palmar surface of the wrist. I'm going to over drill it with a drill to make a tunnel to pass the tendon graft through. Now we'll harvest the tendon graft. I'm going to isolate the tendon in the palmar surface of the forearm. We're going to take a third of this tendon. That doesn't cause any problems with the tendon itself. The other remaining two thirds is plenty strong enough. Now we're going to pass the third of the tendon we harvested from the forearm to the wrist. Then we're going to pass it through the tunnel in the scaphoid from the front of the wrist to the back of the wrist, or we'll use it to reconstruct the scaphoid ligament. Now we've dissected out another ligament in the back of the wrist and we're going to pass the tendon graft around this ligament in order to tension it and get it tight to reconstruct the scaphoid ligament. Now we're going to place an anchor into the lunate, which we can use to help tie down and tension the tendon graft to reconstruct the scaphoid ligament. Now I've reduced the wrist so I have the bones exactly how I want them and I temporarily pin them in that position. And then we're going to tie down and tension the tendon graft in a firm manner to reconstruct the scaphoid ligament. Going to remove the temporary key wire so there's no wires left in the wrist. We'll continue to tension and tighten the scaphoid reconstruction so it's nice and firm. We'll remove the remaining excess graft. And now we have a forcep on the scaphoid one on the lunate. You can see they're tight. They're not moving at all. Reconstruction is very firm. All done.